Previously on, Zakia loves Pinto. Ugh. You know I can't talk about that. Joseph. Yeah, I know you can say that for a minute. You need to get that checked out. I have a book on top of my head. My daddy had a brain aneurysm. Initially, of course, you're not gonna think that it's serious. I went to the library to kind of try to do a little bit of research. That's not good mentally, though. No. That's that's really not good because how can you ever be at peace? You give yourself a worse headache. WebMD. I'm a doctor. You, you are, <laughs> and you be wrong. Oh, wait, don't make me laugh. Um, I think when Zakia feels what she feels is very much so real. However, sometimes I do know that because she's a worrier, she'll think one thing and then she'll think the worst of it, and then that makes it even worse. So something that may be a regular headache will amplify to like almost a migraine like because now she's overthinking into it and now she's worrying and she's thinking about the probable causes and all that and then by then it's like you know so i definitely think it can be controlled i feel like my baby can manifest it back down but uh does she make it up of course not she definitely feels everything that she feels I don't know, it could be because of the computers and like devices and stuff yeah. and light. Like I feel like I'm really sensitive to light. I actually felt a little dizzy. Not really like a migraine, more like a constant. Well, I don't know. I don't know what a migraine feel like. I never really had one. They say a migraine is like sensitive to light and it's like just, it's, it's pain, like pain. Like you could barely open your eyes. You no, just want to be in like a dark that. room. Well, you know, I'm going to push her through her anyway. Like, I just push through even if it feels like... I wish I didn't have this mentality where I feel the need to continue pushing through, even through pain. I think I got that from my dad because he is... He's that. He's a, He is a workaholic. And he is the person that will keep going. Even if he gets hurt, he will keep working. If he gets sick, he will... If someone calls him and says they need him to do something, he will still go in and go to work. And so I think I got that from him, probably from his mom as well. I know that she was also one of those like people that couldn't sit down, um, especially in her younger ages. And she just pushed through. And so it's something that is genetic in my body. Um, it actually is funny because when I do it and other people don't do it, I look at them like, come on, push through. You see me pushing through, right? Like, you know, even, I mean, late nights when I have to, like, just get things done in my past when I didn't have um, a supportive partner like my baby, uh, I felt that I was always doing stuff by myself and having to just keep pushing through to get to success, right? And it's not fun to feel like you're doing it all by yourself and you have to continue pulling through for you and everybody else. You push through like a big baby, though. You a big baby. I, I am getting checked out, but you know, I've been like just pushing through. I don't like feeling like weird yeah. stuff in my body. Yeah. So, I mean, on top of me dealing with the acid reflux and everything, like I don't need headaches to be added to the list. I never really had a headache that lasted two weeks. You know, like it's usually like, you know, every once in a while I get a headache, probably because I haven't drunk enough water or I'm not yeah, eating right. Something, yeah. But. <laughs> have like constant headaches has been like crazy yeah you know since i never really battled with headaches to get one that lasts for two weeks it was uh, a, a very intense scare and even though they're not i don't still have that same consistent headache i've just been getting them here and there i'm still nervous about it so i'm going to go see somebody it's the doctor has to send me somewhere i need a test i need a confirmation that i'm okay 
And and you do want to make sure that you are good. So maybe when you go to the doctor, you could do get some blood work and just make sure everything. I'm I know everything is okay. Mm -hmm. But it will put my my mental yeah. at peace. For the last two weeks, we have been working a lot, so you know it will make sense. You know, but just want to double check because I don't want you to freak out. So I'd rather you know that nothing is wrong than you assume. I don't like. Well, it. we gonna figure it out. Okay. Let's go. I love you. you. Want some grapefruit? Let me try it. Now, now, a dollar like just the main. That's just how I feel. So Zakia has been feeling pretty good the last couple of days. She hasn't had as many headaches, which is like super like good news. And we're still gonna go to the doctor to get it checked out. But our friend invited us to her Halloween birthday party. It's her go to here. So she feels like going out. So we're gonna go out. Hopefully we can make it on time. Baby just finished doing my hair and I just got finished editing. We got so many things to do before we leave. We are gonna see. I need something to eat before we head out, but I honestly, I don't even think that we'll even have time to even stop at my parents' house anymore because we got so many other things to do. So, um, I'm gonna tell baby we can't go. And we got so many other things to do before then. So I'm gonna just wear whatever I got in my closet. I'm gonna just, I guess I'm gonna just dress regular. Why? Because, because we ain't gonna have time. Okay. Get frustrated. Like, blah, 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 blah. 